I, I made a deal with Salo uh, that we wouldn't do a lot of speeches, so he's not going to speak. <laughs> he did last night, and he was fabulous. And I doubt I'll be able to do it as well. But earlier on today, when I was trying to figure out what I might say, uh, my eldest son, Jeffrey, asked me if he could say a few words. So I'm going to ask Jeffrey to come up uh, and speak for a couple of seconds, and then I'll take over from that, and I promise you won't be much longer than two. Thank you. Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to keep this short and a better day than to get between this crowd and the dance floor. So uh, I just wanted to say a few words to Karen Martin. But let's be honest, this is really more so about Karen, it's her day. And uh, so I just wanted to say that, you know, ever since I've known Karen, which is about uh, two years since I, after I was born, uh, Karen's been the, my little sister, the uh, cute, sweet little prima ballerina dancing around the house, always with a little silly streak to her. I think anybody here who's seen Karen laugh at one of her own jokes, and then for the next 20 minutes, laugh at herself laughing at one of her own jokes. Knows what I'm talking about. But then, you know, Karen uh, joined me in college. We went to the same college for a couple of years. You know, she got out of the house on her own. Um, I say that because she lived about half a block away from me, so never really got too far from home. But uh, at college, I learned a little bit more about Karen than just the prima ballerina that I knew growing up. Uh, she uh, turned into, for me, a focused, responsible student. Still found time for a little fun in college, though. Then she went, moved to New York City, and I have to admit, I had uh, some doubts. Karen uh, was always a little shyer, some, and uh, I didn't know how she would fare in a city like New York. But she surprised me there, too, and I learned more about her then. She was creative, passionate, and turns out she can actually be a little hard-nosed. She actually got a little gritty when she moved to New York City. <laughs> then she moved back to Miami and met Mark. And more surprises were in store. Karen became sporty, adventurous. These are things I would have never, ever have uh, described Karen as. But also, the most important thing I learned about Karen is how loving she really is. The Karen's always been loving, but um, the way that she loves Mark, that's loving in a way that I've never seen, and uh, it's, it's really fantastic to see. So, I just wanted to say to Karen and Mark, I hope that both of you continue to discover new things about each other as you, uh, you know, as individuals and as a happily married couple for all the years to come. Okay, meet the main act for the night. This is the one and only other speech that uh, will be made tonight. The rabbi mentioned at the beginning of the ceremony, uh, he did a shakayonu. I'd like to do a shakayonu as well because I think it's important uh, for all of us, uh, particularly aging guys like me, to recognize that Hashem had a, uh, another purpose in, in getting us to get to this particular occasion, to get to occasions like this, which I hope there'll be many. So just on that note, Baruch Atar Anay Aminu Menach Alam Shekhyano Vikimano Vigiyano Azman Hazeh. Thank you. Thank you Hashem for getting us to this wonderful event and this wonderful time. Another thank you I would like to make is to all of you. Uh, there are people in this room from all over the world, literally. Um, as far east as Israel, as far north as Canada, needless to say, I think half the room is Canadian. Uh, thank you, all our friends who came from 
Montreal and Ottawa and Toronto. Um, I can't tell you how much we appreciate all the Peruvians that came, all the Colombians that came, all the Mexicans that came. I'm sure I'll miss, we have an Italian even, I'm Israeli, I mean, we're, we're, we're well represented around the world, and I know it's a lot of effort for people to make, to come this distance and to help us celebrate, but believe me, you make this party what it is. You make the wedding what it is, and you make the festivity and the, and the feeling in the room. I think it, when I came out of the ceremony, I think the one thing I heard the most was everybody said, the feeling in the room was absolutely incredible. And it wouldn't have been that way if you hadn't been here. So thank you very much for being here. I want to, I, I know I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get dumped on for saying this, but um, Elena particularly asked me not to do the deal about saying thank you, but you cannot possibly imagine what she and Karen uh, did in order to put this evening together. Uh, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal piece of work, and I'll be forever grateful. And I think uh, as the evening goes on, you'll see why that I think we'll all enjoy it and we'll all remember it very, very well. To Paulette and Salo, obviously, first of all, for giving us their son, for allowing him to come into our lives and be part of our family. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your help in putting together the wedding, all the festivities before, and it's just phenomenal. I, we, we, Elena and I, when we arrived in, uh, in Miami 20 years ago, I think one of the first few couples we were introduced to was Paul, uh, Paul and Zella. Little, little did we know we would end up here, but we are very fortunate to be part of the Wagenberg family and we are thrilled that they are part of the Solomon Sternfeld family. Um, finally, and certainly not last, last probably, but not least, for I should say, Karen and Mark. So to Karen and Mark, uh, I, I was looking for adjectives, and I think there, uh, there are many that can be said about both of them. But I think if you have met them, if you have talked to them, if you looked at them on the, under the hoopa, you will see that I don't think there's a couple in the world that's happier, uh, that's more positive, that just, I mean, they look dreamy-eyed and ready to start on this marvelous adventure. So I just wanted to wish them, on behalf of all of us, but particularly on behalf of our family, all the happiness and health in the world, and above all, that they should always be there to support each other. Uh, they have some fairly long-standing models to go after. Uh, Mark's grandparents have been married for over 60 years. Mark's parents have been married for 42 years. Elena and I have been married for over 40 years. So I wish them at least, at least, adding up all of those to 140 years uh, of health and happiness, good luck, and everything that can be in their favor. Thank you very much for coming. Have a marvelous time tonight. Enjoy.